Hello, this is Elaine Souza, and soon I'm going to be teaching the second uh, part of um, Mates Brain Regulation program uh, in Brazil, in Portuguese. And I usually like to read some articles that I read before, new ones, and I, in doing some, you know, reading I and searching, I found this article from Frank Corrigan, Dr. Frank Corrigan, and there is a, um, a sentence that I was reading in his article, and I want to read to you and reflect with you on this. The wrong therapy by the wrong therapist or with the wrong timing or a combination of it may be psychonosious. Psychonosious. I've never read this word before. And so I went to, you know, the word came to me like psychotoxic. And when I was reading and translating to Portuguese and a bit of Spanish, so finally I got the meaning. And it has to do with bringing, bringing unf uh, let's call, unfavorable, unf unfavorable or not good results or effect in, you know, people's emotional life. Uh, and also it can bring reactions in the nervous system that maybe are not necessary, you know, in a process of psychotherapy. So it made me think about few situations in my life when I was looking for, you know, a therapist, a doctor to help something in my uh, health. And, and it makes so much sense. If you have the therapist, the right therapist, the right therapy, at the right timing, uh, all aligned, then the, 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 the circumstance, the circumstance, the situation, the, the environment is set for the nervous system to, to go into regulation, into integration, because it senses, it feels all the parts that are necessary to open up and go into the resolution of whatever is, um, let's call, um, dysregulated in our nervous system. And, and, and I want to talk to everyone, not just mental health professionals or doctors or health professionals, but everyone, when we are looking for someone, when we are searching for a doctor or a therapist, I, I think there is a bit of difference. When you are looking for a doctor, you know, uh, and the, the response you have is not totally uh, let's call it, it doesn't, you know, fuse right to you or makes you anxious or upset. Why not to search for another opinion? Why not to go to another doctor? And, you know, there is nothing wrong with that, to search for more information about your health. You are very unique. Yeah, we have patterns and we have, you know, um, ways of that we, we, are, we respond similar. But each brain, each body has its own history and its own way of dealing with things, you know, its own way of coming out for, from stress and, and, and trauma. So I was thinking, you know, um, how important it is for us to be, to, f to allow ourselves to search the right person to help us. To be curious about the therapies we want to use, we are also the, the timing. Am I ready for this? Do I feel ready for this? Um, or when I say ready, it, it doesn't mean you are, and this is a very important thing to say. We tend to say to people, or people tend to talk about themselves, saying, I'm resistant, or, you know, my client is resistant. Uh, resistance, for me, is when your system is saying, slow down. Not stopping, but slow down. It's not saying, you, I, I'm not ready, I cannot do it. It's saying, wait a minute, let's, let's take this step. Let's, I'm almost there, or, you know, let's go slow. Yeah, so... I think this is very important. And as a mental health professional, as a professional, a health professional, um, I would really talk to my colleagues and say, you know, how important to be humble, or have the humility to know also when we are limited to help our clients and, and we need to refer to someone else, or when we need to consider uh, other uh, therapies or the treatments to include in that person's in that, that client life that you are helping, how important is to consider the holistic approach? This is so crucial. So, um, and also taking care of the way how we are showing up for our clients. Are we listening to them? Are we respecting their time? Are we 
uh, respecting their limitations and our limi limitations. I remember when I, I did a, comp a, comp a compuncture a long time ago and there was no effect for me. Long, long time ago, I don't know, I would say 20 years ago. <laughs> and then 10 years ago, no, maybe, maybe, maybe less. Yeah, no, I think it was 10 years ago in Australia when I did, and I went again to a, a very good acupuncturist that I met in Australia. He was specialized, specializing pain in acupuncture. And he helped me to stand up again on my feet after I had um, injury. And it was perfect. It makes sense now. Like he was, the, he, there was a connection. I was being heard and listened by him. Um, I felt that he really was with the best intention with my system. Um, he has, I was ready for that. You know, like I wanted to do acupuncture for that. And my system was in the right timing to receive that. So, uh, and, re and he also respected that. You know, I told him the, the, my, my story with acupuncture, how much it didn't work before, and this and that. And the way how he received, it, he received that really made a huge difference for me to trust that process. To, so my, my system opened up, you know, uh, my subcortical part opened up for that, for that experience as well. Um, yeah, I think I just came here to share this, 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 this reflection and, and remind us and everyone, if you're searching for help, you know, search for that alignment, you know, uh, go with your gut feeling. Maybe you don't know what the therapies are, but it feels right for you. You go to a doctor, it feels right to you. We know that instinct, we know that feeling. If it doesn't, if there's a little bit of doubt, trust that doubt. Search for more opinion, read about it, you know, change. Yeah, so this is what I came to share with you. I hope this helps you. And one of the things that I want to also say for mental health professionals, especially psychologists and therapists, uh, we do need to do our inner work and we do need to have peer supervision, supervision with professionals who we trust and we know, know a little bit more than us. So let's uh, make sure we are also supported to support. Big hugs. See you soon. Bye.